Let's do uh, the Rat Roach from Fallout. I didn't add any hitbox to this one, I think. Okay, Ragdoll. No, I didn't add any yet. So I'll just be doing a uh, two, three to show you guys how you do it. You go to Bones. Um. So you select the bone from here. As you can see, they're all old. So let's start with a um, head. Nice and easy one. You click Add Hitbox. As you can see, it is um, way too big. So here you can change the size. Oh yeah, one annoying thing the first number you type in, if you type two numbers in the first number you w type in will be the second one, as you can see um... eight... might... Minus one, well, minus two. One minus. No. Now it's not a big disaster if you do it a bit too far. I mean, it doesn't have to be too perfect if you ask me might be because I'm just lazy but <laughs> anyway when you get the the wanted result you generate QC it will co be copied to your clipboard and if I paste it in something you will see the surface prop the hitbox set and the hitbox and if you um, add another which we'll be already doing add hitbox this one is forearm over there. Oh yeah. Also, um, the controls, the easy controls for the mouse stuff. If you click in with within the circle, you will rotate with left mouse button. If you click within the circle with the right mouse button, you will zoom. Uh, the same will happen if you're outside. So pr practically, the right mouse button is zoom, and left mouse button outside the circle is a rotate as in this rotate so if you uh, let's add another one um. To be honest, I'm not actually. I don't think you can rotate since one is size. You can you get t two sets of numbers. One is size, one is the origin. So sometimes you might have to um, create a square one. But since this is the forearm, which is this bone, you won't have to rotate. Nope. I need X again. Okay, and then if you do generate QC in place, instead of getting only one hitbox, you get two hitboxes, and so on and so on. Now, one very important thing I used, I didn't know before when I started, if you are using the um, QC string um, scale, the hitboxes and everything in the QC will be scaled. So be careful with that. If you uh, want to do hitboxes on it, remove the scale, compile it as a separate model if you want, which is what I do, and then um, do the hitboxes there and the attachment, whatever, copy them and paste them in the QC with a scale string and recompile it and it should work fine, which you could see with my um, protectron, protectron port should load the hitboxes as you can see
Anyway, um... What else is there to discuss? Which I fully know myself. I don't know Ikuroi yet, and... Ikeiro, I mean. Physics, I think... I wasn't sure about that, but it's just a random guess. Sequences, I uh, told about. Yeah, and... I showed you that you can load. Oh yeah, I know one thing I still need to do, but if you, for example, load a weapon, it has to be a W weapon, it's a world model. It won't work on this one though, so it's not too smart. Actually, doing it, as you can see, it doesn't work because it doesn't know where it has to be placed. So, we'll do, uh, we'll reload Alex. And as you can see, it fits fine. Let's ragdoll her. And let's remove the hitboxes. I don't know why they're colored with her though. It's a mystery for me at the moment. Okay, but what I also want to show you guys is um, how useful this is for view models. Now when you spawn a view model in Gmod, you might think, what the hell is this? Well, the view model... Um, Let's see now. There's a f one very useful tool. When you create a view model, you might not be sure how it will look in game. Therefore, after you compiled it, go into Half Life Model Viewer and go into View Model Mode. You will see how it looks. You can set the field of view. I believe the default uh, Gary's mod is 64, not 54. And then you can, uh, yeah, preview it. Now I think um mm, discuss hit bo oh yeah flexors. You know uh face posing, you can also preview it in um Half Life Model Viewer. So if we say right eyelid close, we go there, her right eyelid closes. I don't get why it shows keep showing attachments kind of annoying uh, none there we go and as you can see we can make her um smile a bit so yeah I think that's pretty much the features you will, might use most or will use most in a Half-Life model viewer. Still, I have a feeling that I'm forgetting stuff, but if I do, I'll just post up another tutorial. So, uh, see you guys later.